and welcome to Picture This, a podcast from the photo archives of the Albuquerque Museum. My name is Jill Hartke, and I am the digital archivist here at the museum. Today, we are taking a look at the history behind a landmark of the early days of Albuquerque and the man who built it. In the photo archives of the Albuquerque Museum is a photograph of a sprawling mansion with members of the household standing around the property. Here is the story behind the photograph. J. Franz Huning was born in Germany in 1828 and immigrated to the United States in the late 1840s. By 1857, he had settled in Albuquerque and opened a store with his brother Charles. They moved goods by wagon along the Santa Fe Trail from Missouri to New Mexico. And the business was so successful, Franz was able to buy a hacienda near Old Town called La Glorieta, as well as build a flour mill and a sawmill. In 1863, on one of his trips between Missouri and New Mexico, Franz married Ernestine Frank in St. Louis, and the two settled at La Glorieta. The couple had four children, Clara, Arno, Lena, and Ellie. Franz was multilingual, fluent in his native German, but also in Spanish and English, and he could converse in French and Italian, which helped him make connections with the Jesuit priests who had built missions along the Santa Fe Trail. Franz worked to build a life in New Mexico for his family, using his business expertise and a pioneering spirit. In the early 1880s, Franz Huning, along with Elias Stover and William Hazeldean, created a company called New Mexico Town Company, which was actually controlled by the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad. Through the company, the three men purchased land two miles from Old Town, for the railroad to build shops and yards, ensuring that that line would come to Albuquerque. This purchase of land marked the beginning of a shift of commerce from Old Town to what would become New Town, and it set the stage for the railroad's arrival and the foundation of the largest industry and employer Albuquerque has ever seen. At the same time the railroad was winding its way to Albuquerque, Franz Huning and his family were making a move themselves. The Hunings had lost their youngest daughter, Ellie, at the age of five in 1881. It was after that loss that Franz began building Castle Huning, a mansion on 15th Street and Railroad Avenue, conveniently located between Old Town and New Town, and just a block or two from La Glorieta. In 1883, the house was completed, and the family moved down the street and into the castle. Franz had thrown himself into designing the two-story mansion by combining an Italianate style with the castles from his home country of Germany. He built it between 1881 and 1883 using more than 250,000 adobe bricks. The doors were brought from Chicago and wood carving details came from St. Louis. The house contained 14 rooms with soaring 16-foot ceilings, including a library, a ballroom, and two bathrooms with indoor plumbing. There were red velvet drapes and wallpaper. The family had both a pipe organ and a grand piano. Outside, there were large gardens, including a vineyard. There was a windmill, a fountain in front, and wide screened porches on both stories. It was Franz and Ernestine's little bit of Germany in New Mexico, and their children and grandchildren came to call it home. Tragedy struck the family again in 1894, when Lena, now the youngest daughter, died at age 21 in Los Angeles, California. Ernestine and Clara traveled west to pick up the remains of Lena and brought them back to Albuquerque. Franz became ill, and spent several years battling his sickness before dying in November of 1905. An atheist, he strictly forbade any of what he called religious nonsense, 
and he demanded to be cremated and deposited beside his two daughters, Lena and Ellie, in the family cemetery on the estate of Castle Hewning. They would later all be moved to Fairview Cemetery in Albuquerque. Franz Hewning's legacy was that of a pioneer who not only helped bring the railroad to town, but also helped build the town itself. His enterprises in building the new city of Albuquerque included the Street Railroad, the Albuquerque Daily Journal newspaper, a hotel, an opera house, and the beginnings of the first subdivision in Albuquerque, now known as Hewning Highland. In his will, Franz left his family with between two hundred and three hundred thousand dollars Franz and Ernestine's son Arno became the owner of Castle Hewning. Ernestine remained living in the house with Arno, his wife Helen, and their children. The Hewnings were society people, and no house in Albuquerque was more central to society than Castle Hewning. It was a showplace, often called upon to host public events and charity fundraisers. The Hewnings routinely threw open the gates to the public for causes such as funding the children's room at the Albuquerque Public Library, an annual Easter egg hunt throughout the grounds, a needlework party for the society ladies, or a dance in the ballroom for teenagers. But the upkeep for a house and estate of this magnitude was staggering. One of Castle Hewning's original towers fell down in 1912 and would never be replaced. Ernestine died in 1923, and Arno and his family moved out in the 1930s, about the same time the family sold off much of their land to create the Hewning Castle Park subdivision. Local leaders quickly bought up lots for their new homes. Castle Hewning evolved from a private home into a school in 1938, when Manzano Day School began operating in the mansion before heading down the street and moving into La Glorieta, where the school still operates today. In 1943, Castle Hewning continued its life as a school with Trudell School, which ultimately taught 150 students a year in kindergarten through sixth grade. But in 1954, the school had to move out when Castle Hewning was deemed unsafe for occupancy. Castle Hewning had fallen into such disrepair that renovating it was out of the question, and the city of Albuquerque declined the offer of purchasing it. In 1955, Castle Hewning was demolished. The loss of the landmark was not fully felt until years later. In 2004, The Hewning Castle apartments were completed on the site of the original mansion and designed in a style that honors the landmark of the early days of Albuquerque and the legacy of Franz Hewning. Thank you for joining us for Picture This with the Albuquerque Museum. Join us next time for the story behind another photograph in the museum's collection.